Hey YouTube, Mike here. How are we all doing today? Hope we all had a safe and productive week. All right, today we picked up some new toys from Festool. And uh, Milwaukee thing here. Um, I'll go over to Milwaukee first. I already got one, picked it up uh, last week uh, for the, the truck. We use a lot of the um, hole saws and it's in the pack out box. So what is it? It is the uh, 49225620. It is their um, hole saw kit. Nice little plastic top. Comes in a nice pack out. Comes with an arbor, allen key, another center fit. Um, I'll tell you right now, it comes with uh, four of each of these. Six inch 18 tooth, six inch 14 tooth, and six inch five tooth wood. And then it comes with five hole saws. What are they? Inch and a half, two inch, two and a quarter, two and a half, two and five eighth, arbor, another center bit, and the Allen key for it. It's nice. I mean, I got it. I got it on the pack out. We um, probably, I think we use this one. I think we use the inch and a half one. But it's nice. It's nice to have it right there. Sawzall blades we use a lot of. We've, we've used them. And they're good. They don't have to have the separate pack inside the pack out box. All right, and I don't leave this in there. Okay, as you can see, I picked up the ES, ETS 125 Edge um, Guide. Now, this can be used for the corded and the cordless one for the 125. But, let's go over this first. This was pretty cool. This is the um, SYS3 organizer, the M89-FUS. So basically, it's a top tray of three Phillips screwdrivers, actually four. One, two, three, four Phillips screwdrivers. Then there is one, two, three nut drivers. A regular, a regular, and um, a square number two um, screwdriver. Nice, nice chrome, lightweight, nice rubber handle. Now, you're saying, why did I get it? Well, I'm going to put it up here. And I'm going to use it for assembly of different things here. I don't have to go running around and looking for now a screwdriver. You know, I keep my Milwaukee stuff over there. <clears throat> All right, it comes with a set of Allen keys. They're pretty much almost in the same, almost in the Weira configuration. Um, five sixty fourths, three thirty seconds, one eight, five thirty seconds, three sixteenths, seven thirty seconds, quarter, and five sixteenths nice they have the ball end and the allen end made it then they're made in germany they're not made in china so then you get one two three four five ratcheting open end wrenches quarter five sixteenths three eight seven sixteenths and half inch Nice chrome. They did a very nice job on the finish. Very quiet ratchet action. And then they give you an adjustable wrench. I'm not keen with these finishes. I don't like when they do a rough and a smooth chrome finish. It's a 10 inch 250 millimeter. It's got a nice, you know, it's very smooth opening and closing. They did a nice machining on the worm. You, usually you could feel like the it grabbing. 
but I, you know, it'll stay in there. The open ends, the Allen keys, the screwdrivers I'll use. And we're actually going to use one of the Allen keys to assemble the edge guide. Then I saw this and I thought it was cute. It's a it's in a Sustainer Mini Mini with an adapter and then all different bits. Comes with, well, it's got two of every, it's got, um, what has it got? Torx, square, one regular, and then it's got uh, two of every Phillips, two small, medium, and large Phillips. But it's nice. So I'm going to leave it inside of my impact drill. But let's play with this thing. I'm going to get a piece of wood here. So what comes in this? You doing good here? On the cover, you get your two bolts. They're Allen. They give you the Allen key. But we're going to play with their new one. Then you get the one side that locks on the actual piece. You get another pad. This pad is painted surface pad. This is just a regular lumber pad. And then you get quite an extensive installation manual for such a small little thing. That's it. All right. So, how does it go together? You actually loosen that knob right there to adjust. And there is markings right here. A little hard to see, but there's markings right here to align this green tab. And if you notice, there's a little tip right there. So, you align it to where it says 90 degrees and then lock it in. So it's got 90, 75, 60. So 90, 75, 60, and 45. Then it's got a hard and a soft so of, for vibration with this piece right here. So to put it together, Hold on, we'll get this again. No, nope. need the instructions. Let's see. Face it that way and face it like that. There we go. Should be the three sixteenths. You just tighten these two screws right up. Okay, there you go. Now, let's see what we got here. All right, the button here extends this out so that you can ch put out change the pad. And then you push this button back in to close it. You see, it keeps, gives you that room. But if you want to change the pad out, you see there's another button here. And then there's alignment tabs. 
you see it's in the center tab so if I push that button this will pop right out and then because now I'm going to do this piece of wood here you want to align these two tabs and click that in push the button and then it locks in now it's locked it won't come out so if you push the button it'll come out you just align the two tabs push the button again to lock it in there and now it's locked so I'm at 90 we want to go to an edge on this so let's get my new trusty clamp holder nice. Try it again. <laughs> and it's still still very tight it's still at 90 didn't move and then if you want to change the pad you pick it up take your pad off put your new pad on and then push the green button back down and then if you want to change your angle now I'm at 60 now I'm at 45 and now I'm at I'm half blind here 75 and then back to 90 I think I'm gonna put a little white paint on this because even with my glasses I can see I get I mean man that is some small I don't know if you could see them that's some small numbers in there very nice I like it yeah, they wouldn't. They all, they released it um, the first. Um, yeah, they released. I picked it up the other day. But I saw this, and I'm like, man, I gotta have it. But um, yeah, the um, put my little clamps away. God, I love this thing. Can't wait. To, I gotta get more clamps. They were out of clamps. Um, at Fest Tool, um, I don't want to take them out of my my toolbox because you know if I bring my toolbox somewhere, I got I got two clamps in it. So, all right. Well, there's uh, there's this the um, prop that I built. You know that you saw me build and I'm actually right after this I got a video to do on a circulating system but that's why I made the thing so high so people can see you know what I don't I don't have to really pan the camera down so much right now the camera as you can see is pretty much at the same level as when I do Mike's Woodshop so now they can see and then I have my my trusty little pointer and I point everything 
but you see I put these flanges on to hold the pipes in to keep them in there so this stuff won't come off. And then what I did actually um, just with scrap wood I built for the dry erase board it's on the thing there but for the dry erase board <laughs> you can't see it because the camera's not right so when I draw on it um, I just was sitting there staring at it and I'm going I got a bunch of you know I got a piece of poplar I got a piece of pine I got a piece of oak well, it's just scrap wood just put it together drilled a couple of holes mounted the thing and that's that all right YouTube um, again I'll put in all the um, all of the model numbers and stuff oh one other thing I don't know if you could see I'm going to be using this T-Track because I took off I don't know if you noticed I took off the protractor well here I took off the protractor I don't use it and I bump into it all the time and I just don't use it so I'm going to adapt this track with bench dogs in the bottom T-Track then I can get away with the depth piece I mean the the measurement piece I may go with a little bit longer I don't know I just picked it up it wasn't that and I'm gonna right now I'm using the Festool holdback um, I don't know I gotta see I think it'll work goes to the end of the table but we'll see it's all with the new shop renovation all right YouTube again thank you for all the subscribes the likes the comments the questions keep them coming um, my email will be below if you have a question or if you want a Mike's Woodshop sticker and you'll be safe out there and I will see you on the next video bye bye now